What is good, everybody? Man, it's your boy Jay in the building. We are back again with another video. Now, if you see the title of this video, then you already know what's going on, man. We have Texas Southern's 2023 recruiting class, and we are starting off with Cameron Evans, a quarterback from Huntington High School. Uh, he is from Louisiana, quarterback 6'3", 210 pounds. Now, uh, I think this past season, he threw for over 2,500 yards and 24 touchdowns. Now, he, he holds the school record for the most passing yards and touchdown passes um, in school history in terms of career, uh, career-wise. So, um, and he's all, he also played basketball, too. So, we're going to check his highlights out really quickly to see what we got. Mm. Now, it's about time that they, they got him a new quarterback because, you know, Andrew Body is a junior now. So, you know, you're going to have to look to get a backup. Nice star like that. They also have another quarterback that we're going to look at in a minute. Okay, going to his left. Ooh. Ooh. All right, now. Nice. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get him. All right. And next up, we have Marcus Neal. Now, Marcus Neal is a three-star recruit out of Channelville High School in uh, Channelville, Texas. Uh, 5'10", 180-pound defensive back. And going to see... What he about? Let's check him out really, really quickly. See if I have anything that I had to say. He uh he was he was District 22 6A Unity Player of the Year. I have to figure out what that is. What that is. Okay. Check him out real quick. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, buddy! You you went all the way back to toward the end of the end zone. Uh oh. Wow, that's crazy! Wow, wow, <laughs> he went from the wow. That's crazy. Mm. Oh, wow! At six, at five ten, at five ten, he played both ways too. Oh. That was sick. That was crazy. Mm. Uh oh. Oh. Mm, that's crazy. Boy, he got lucky because he, he dare so almost scored. All right, next up, we have Elinus Noel third. Now, uh, he is a transfer from Nicholas State. Uh, he's 6'2", 335 pound defensive end or D-tackle. He, he looked like a D-tackle for real. But um, now he, I think during his two seasons with Nicholas State, he had 53 tackles. And uh, I think it was one game where he had he had a trio. Well, he uh, one season where he had a trio of six tackle games. Now he was a three-star. He was a three-star recruit coming out of John Curtis High School, and we're gonna check him out. The big boy. All right, and next up we have Xavier Player. Now Xavier Player is a transfer from University of Texas at San Antonio. Plays cornerback, uh, six feet, hundred eighty pounds. Um, he was also a three-star recruit coming out of high school. And he's also the cousin of Donald Driver. Anybody know who Donald Driver is? You know, why we see him for the Packers. You know. You know, you know. I'm going to check him out re really quickly. Okay, I see. All right, so he on special teams, of course. Now, of course, he's going to be looking, you know, to get some playing time. See what he got. 
Ooh, you almost picked that. I got some practice highlights. Okay. Give me those. Mm. Okay. Good day, good day. Where'd it be there? Where'd it be there? Where you at? Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He always picked. He always took it to the crib. He always picked off the screen pass. Man, and next up, we have the Michael. Porter. Now, uh, DeMichael Porter is coming out of DeSoto High School. Uh, six feet, 170 pounds defensive back. And now, um, he did win the state championship in Texas this past season. He also won the, uh, the, uh, Texas State 7-on-7 seven seven championship. So, let's check him out really quick. Go ahead, check him out. Hmm, Okay. Like that, okay. You like those? Where you at? It must be the that's the state championship game. Mmm. Mmm, get hit, okay. Get hit. Like that. Where you at? You're getting a lot of a lot of DB so far. Give me that. Ooh, I thought you were gonna pick that. It looked like they were playing at Baylor. Okay. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Okay. Hmm. That's a pick. That's a pick. Oh. All right, man. Next up, we have Ryan Richardson. Uh, coming out of Summer Creek High School, hometown um, Humble, Texas, uh, six feet one, uh, six foot one, 185 pound receiver. Uh, now this past season he had 66 catches with 886 yards and eight touchdowns. He earned first team All Conference and and the Southern or Texas Southern. Check him out. Check him out really fast. Mm, okay. Go out. See what he got. Oof. Oof. Oh man. What a double move. What a double move. In there easy. Your hand. Good concentration. They're playing at the University of Houston. Mm, come here. Slant. Come on. Whoop, come here. Move. I like that. We like those. Hmm. Wide open. Just wide open. My goodness. Ooh, come here. Mmm, come here. All right, man. And next up, we have Jacob Washington. Now, Jacob, Wa mm. Jacob Washington is a running back out of Shadow Creek High School, hometown Pearland, Texas. Six feet, 195 pounds. Uh, now, I think um this past season, earned second team all-conference oh, district 23 6A second team all conference uh, ran for nearly 700 yards and eight touchdowns this past season. Average uh, average 6.3 yards per carry. Let me check them out really quick, really fast. Okay, they always had a lot of they had a lot of talent. Here we go. Come here. Whoop. Out of there. Okay. Run good, run hard. Hmm. Okay. Oh, come here. Stiff arm. Okay. Like that move. Come here. Hmm. Go on. Go over here. Yes, 
sure got it up. Uh, dragon. Dragon folk. I like it. Hmm. Whoop! Jumped over him. All right, man. And next up, we have Jace Wilson. Now, Jace Wilson is a transfer from Furman, from uh, Furman College or Furman University. I'm sorry. Now, um, he spent two years at Furman. Now, um, his freshman his freshman year, he passed for a little over a thousand yards with six touchdowns, and um, he had uh, and he earned a spot on the all all freshman team. And he has set a Furman school record for most completions in a game with 38 at, uh, this past season. And had the Texas Southern competing for that uh, for that spot. So let's see what's going on. And, uh, and of course, we uh, we watched his highlight tape before, but you know, just get a get a little a little fresher, little reminder. All right, next up we have Waltez Champ. Now, I heard this dude was a beast. So, Waltez Champ is coming from Homer High School, six feet, two hundred thirty-five pound DN. And let me just run down his numbers for a minute. So, he was named to the 2022 Max Prep Small Town All American Team, uh, All American Football Team, selected as a 2022 Class 1A. Defensive player of the year uh, he Had over 100 tackles With 10 sacks And scored 3 touchdowns on defense And and was um, Division 4 Non-select title game And was named Defensive MVP mm. Let's check him out man let's, let's check him out for a little bit A little bit longer Cause I heard it Yo His physique Dog, the way he looked, dog. Dog, he he looked like he is entering his second year of college. This dude looked like a beast. Oh yeah, he he going for it. Another one. Mm, ah, get off me. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, I saw his picture, dog. What? Ooh. You faked them out and you still couldn't get away from them. He's from Louisiana. Louisiana, baby. Come here. No, stood him up. No, sir. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Dog. How fast he got in there. Sheesh. Come here. That dude is a problem. Yo, the fact that he had 101 tackles as a DN? How? How do you get 100, and, 100 tackles as a DN? That's sick. That is sick. That's just... Mm. Next up, we have Quadarius Davis. Now... I was super shocked at this. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I we know when he, when he first announced that he that he was staying at Jackson State, I said, "Well, okay. Well, I was I was saying, okay, this is gonna be one of their best targets. You know, he's gonna finally get a chance to start. He's gonna finally get a chance to show and prove. And then he pulls the okie doke, and now he's heading to Texas Southern. And I always thought he was underutilized. I always thought that he didn't get he didn't get the opportunities. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on at practice, but I always knew that this dude is like I, I always said that he was gonna be one of the top wide receivers on the team, and I've said that the last two years. And when you know, and when he wasn't getting the opportunities, you know, 
for him to go to Texas Southern, I'm thinking he's thinking that he could probably be their best target. And plus, he's going back home. You know, so, dog, I think this is probably their best pickup. <laughs> him and Andrew Body might be a good matchup. I, I'm, I'm not going to front. Him and Andrew Body is going to be really, really good together, dog. But this dude right here is an athlete. He was a four. I mean, he was he was a four star recruit. He was heading to Kansas if it wasn't for for what he was dealing with, you know. So, man, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be crazy offense this, this season. I'll tell you that. All right, and next up we have Eric Zapata. Eric, yeah, Eric Zapata. Uh, he is coming from Kingwood Park High School. Standing at 6'3", 295 pound offensive lineman. Uh, now he he was uh, back to back first team All Conference, and we're gonna check him out. Wow, see how he just raw dog pushed him. Mm. <laughs> mm. Flat as a pancake. My goodness. Come here, no sir. Get over here. Get over here. <laughs> nasty. That, that, that that's nasty work. Get over here. My goodness, that's nasty. Mhm. Mm Come on. Get over here. Give me that. Mmm. Mmm. I might say he 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 didn't want no part of that. He did not want no part of that. Mm. Okay, next up we have Abuka Okafor. Uh, he's coming out of um, Alif Taylor High School from Houston, Texas. Uh, standing at 6'6", 310 pounds, offensive lineman. First team all conference. We're gonna go ahead and check them out, man. Mm. That's a big boy right there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> stay down and stay down. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this is why I love looking at offensive linemen, dog. Yo, if you get a big boy who can throw some. You can just literally throw a, another human being to the ground, dog. That like, you just gotta feel helpless, bro. Like, I know you gotta feel so helpless, bro. Like, you let another human being just, mm, just throw you, just throw you <laughs> off the face of the earth, bro. That gotta be that. That's insane. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, man. Yo, that's why I love watching. Big offensive lineman block, bro. I love that. Come here. <laughs> Come on. Mm -mm -mm. All right, man. And next up, we have Giovanni Harper. Now, Giovanni is a transfer from San from San Jose State. Spent two seasons there. And uh, I think he he's originally from California, so coming all the way from Cali to go to to go to Texas Southern. So let's go ahead and check him out. Now I couldn't find any of his uh, highlights at San Jose, not even his practice highlights at all. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna just watch his high school stuff. Now I think they uh they only play like three. He only played like like three games. His senior year. So I think uh, the majority of this is probably going to be his junior highlights or whatever. And a little bit of his senior. Let's get hit. Where you at? Okay. Safety. Okay. Well, he's 5'11", five, 175 pounds. He come from... uh. Los, uh, Los Angeles, LA, to be exact. Give me that. Ooh, oh, you dropped it. Come on, man. You need those. 
Every interception drop is a is money lost. Oh, touchdown. Come on, score. Mm. All right, and next up, we have Thurman Rayborn. Now, he's a transfer from Northwest Mississippi Community College. A uh, 6'2", 300-pound defensive tackle. So, we're going to go ahead and check this out. Check him out really fast. See what he got. Come on, man. He, he, you could have got right on to the play. Nose guard. Come on. Where he at? Right there. Okay. In the middle. She was shaking. Let me see what's shaking. Come on. Mm. Okay, come on. Get in there. Mm. Yeah, cause some pressure. Mm. Get come on, get him. Ah. We see you. We see you, big boy. Get him, get him. Come on, get him. And last but not least, we have Patrick Heelan. Now, Patrick Heelan is a four-star kicker and punter out of Johnson High School. Now, uh, let me see. Uh, they say he had an impressive camp circuit with uh, impressive showings at both positions. Name all F FLX in 2022. Boy can kick from 46 yards. Okay. Mm. Okay, let me see. Come on, let me see. Ooh. Okay. Now, while this is running, right? Let me say something. Uh. I think that, you know, like I said, I, I to be honest, I think the swag on the west on the west side is wide open too. Just like I said for the east side, even though I think Jackson State, FAMU, possibly Alabama State are I think the the heavy favorites when it comes to the east. When it comes to the west though, you gotta think. I think that Andrew Body is, is is the best quarterback on the West Side. And at the end of the day, I think having a great quarterback matters. You know, so for them to get the weapons that they got on offense, and then some good pieces on defense. Yeah, that Waltese. Look, hold on. That uh, Waltez Champ kid. I think he. I think he can start right away. I think he's going to start right away. The way he, dog, the way he, man, the way he looks, he looks like he he, he could be on somebody's roster starting. I'm talking about probably mid-major somewhere. You know, but, I, you know, but, uh, and Quateris, uh, Quateris Davis, I think he's going to make a, a big impact for, you know, for uh, Texas Southern as well. So, I'm looking forward for Andrew Body to do good things. And I hope, you know, let's, we're going to see where it, it comes from that. But I'm excited to see what Texas Southern has to offer. And we'll hope for the best, man. Shout out to him.